This week we got to see some footage from Call of Duty Black Ops. It was mostly a cinematic trailer, not really gameplay footage, but it was running on a PS5 and it looked pretty damn good. The graphics, the lighting, Ronald Reagan, everything looks really cool. And I'm actually looking forward to this game and it's not usually the type of game that I enjoy playing or I don't spend too many hours on, but I am going to give this one a try. And they also showed gameplay footage of Ratchet and Clank and extended gameplay footage, stuff we've already seen before, but I guess now we got to see it like as a run through without any stops or pauses and you really get a feel for how this game is going to play when you have it in your own hands. And it looks gorgeous. It looks absolutely gorgeous. There's a lot of people talking a lot of trash online on Twitter and it's driving me a little bit crazy because I can't, I don't understand where these people are getting their facts from, but a lot of people claiming that you can't do 4K60 in it or you can't do 4K60 with ray tracing and somehow the Xbox Series X will be able to do that because it's really powerful. But here's the problem, we haven't seen anything playing on the Xbox 3, uh, Series X yet. Did I say 360 earlier? If I did, I meant Series X. We haven't seen anything play out on the Xbox Series X yet. At all. I don't think we've seen any gameplay footage. If we have, uh, remind me, because I missed it. It must be one game. Because other than that, I know everything we've seen of uh, Series X has been on a PC, not on an actual console. And that legit worries me. This is something I've been talking about for months that Microsoft needs to come with the games. I'm sick and tired of hearing about how powerful their console is. They've been saying that since the Xbox One days, and even before that, really. Um, they always boast the power, I get it. You make powerful consoles, good for you. I need to see better games. And now, it's like, I'd settle to just see games, <laughs> right? It's not even about better games anymore, it's about just show me some games. Let me be excited about buying the console and, and playing more games. Now, don't get me wrong, I have enough to keep me busy this, this holiday season. I, I plan on picking up Miles Morales. I plan on picking up Demon's Souls, which I believe will be out around the holiday season. And Ratchet & Clank sounds like it's going to be out within two or three months of the console release. So there's, there's plenty Call of Duty. There's plenty I can be playing. Oh, and the uh, Ghost of Tsushima Legends I'll be playing on my PS5 when I get one. But still, I, I want more competition because I'm selfish and I'm a gamer and I want more options. So yeah, I want Microsoft to show me some games that are going to get me excited and uh, keep the gaming world alive, right, and exciting. It's not happening though. I, they're nowhere. I can't, I don't hear a peep from Microsoft anymore. What happened to literally once a month we're going to wow people? That's what I heard months ago, that Microsoft was going to wow us once a month up until launch. And this month they've just been quiet crickets the only thing we heard was halos delayed and then it's like they disappeared it's gotten so bad that their own fanboys who make xbox bias content have started tweeting about being worried and rightfully so but it's about time i've been i've been arguing with these guys for weeks or months if you if you follow me on twitter and you just look at my tweets and replies you'll see me dealer me and d batch we, we've gotten into it before and uh now i want to praise them for finally doing the right thing and, and I did praise them on Twitter too I, I, I let them know that hey it's about time you guys say things like this in this tweet dealer demands that you know Xbox start showing some damn games as he put it running on the Series X um, you know and then he makes fun of the Xbox marketing team basically getting sprayed in the face every time PS5 gameplay shown and then you got D batches tweet where he's pretty much promoting his video but it's a good video about, you know, Ratchet and Clank being an impressive game and that Xbox Series X basically needs to start showing their games. If they have any, is what I would say. And other fanboys or Xbox biased content creators, I should say, have done the same, you know, calling for Xbox to start showing some Series X games. Playing, being played on Series X. You've even got people like Colt Eastwood actually praising Ratchet and Clank for being 60 frames per second and saying that it's an excellent change from the devs. Here's one thing I want to point out. Sometimes these guys, they also get under my skin because they feel like they made a difference or they, you know, they say things like they're listening. Dude, no one's listening to you, bro. No one cares about you. These guys were already going to make it at 4K60. It had nothing to do with you. If the console was capable of doing 4K60, then the devs were going to make it happen. It wasn't because you started talking about how 4K30 wasn't good enough. So then they started making games at 60 frames per second. This is the stupid ignorance from guys like this guy and even Dealer came out and said, uh, 
I literally said there's no reason all their games could not be at 60 frames per second. It, dude, it was never gonna be at 30, man. That's just some bullshit lies you guys spread yourselves, and then you take credit for, you know, the developers listening to you. When it was never the plan to be 30 frames per second, I'm sure of it. It wasn't like they went, oh, we just heard the RDX podcast, so we made all our games run at 60. This is what drives me crazy. I want to praise them for starting to, you know, demand better from Xbox. But then again, I, I wish they would just stop doing this bullshit. I, unless they really believe, if they're delusional, by the way, if they really believe that somehow them being loud and other fans being loud about 60 frames per second is what why developers are now making games at 60 frames per second. It was already a part of the plans. They didn't just change it three months ago or two months ago because everybody was complaining. It was never going to be a 30 frame per second cap. God, makes me feel like a virgin just looking at you. All right, enough about them. Let's move on. Um, so when I talk to people and, and I'm trying to understand like why you're still excited for the Series X to come out and they start talking to me about Game Pass and they'll say things like, well, I'm going to play this game or that game uh, on the Series X. And I'm going, well, those games are two or three years old, man. Like, really, you're, you're waiting for a new console so you can play a two year old game on it. And they'll say, yeah, because I know the great games are coming. Cool. I'm positive that the initiative is working on something really good because they have too much talent in that studio not to deliver something really cool. I'm actually looking forward to seeing it. And again, the rumors are that it's going to be something like a perfect dark kind of spinoff. It might not be perfect dark, but it's going to be in the third person, which excites the hell out of me because you guys know if you've been watching my content that I've been hoping that they're going to make a third person game and not a first person game, especially at that studio. So I'm pretty sure that there's a very good chance that that studio is making a game that I think we're all going to be in love with or, you know, whoever's going to own an Xbox or play it on PC or whatever. We're all going to like and enjoy. Other than that game, though, I, I don't I just don't see it. Avowed's not for me. Again, it's in first person. I'm not going to like it, um, period. It's just not my type of game. Uh, Halo. Yeah, that's in first person, but that's a shooter, so I'll probably play that for sure, just like Call of Duty. I'll play Halo, but I, man, they I hope they fix it right, and I think they will because they got a new project lead in there to help them fix it, so I'm pretty sure Halo is going to be good, but that's, you know, at the end of 2021, that's basically going to come out right around the time of uh, Horizon Forbidden West, so it's going to go head-to-head -head for my time my playing time that is because I don't have that much time to play I work about five sometimes six days a week so that's gonna go head to head with me my time for um, playing and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna want to play Forbidden West a lot more often than I'm gonna want to play Halo hopefully Halo is just as good though and I struggle with that decision when the time comes anyway so other than the initiatives game and Halo I just don't I don't have anything to be excited about I really don't and even though PS5 might not have a bunch of announcements, I know there's going to be a God of War 2, right? I know there's going to be a bigger version of Spider-Man, even though Miles Morales I'm excited for, and I think that game's going to rock. And I don't believe that game is a DLC, and I, I, I'll I call it a DLC for shits and giggles, but that's not what I really think it is. I mean, if we're going to call a game that's 7 to 10 hours long a DLC because we're going to pretend it's too short to be a standalone game, that's bullshit. Most games are 7 to 10 hours long most of the time. Uh, some games are 3.5 hours long, right? But like Rise, Son of Rome, was an, was an Xbox launch game. And from a tweet I read today, and here's a tweet, you'll see that that game itself was only 6.5 hours long. Miles Morales is not a DLC, man. It's, it's a standalone game, but whatever. I don't care. Point is, I'm excited for it, and you know there's going to be a bigger Spider-Man game coming out for the PS5, maybe two years from now. But the point is, like, even though there's things that aren't announced, Sony has enough titles and studios where you know there's good content coming, whether that's the next Last of Us game, or another Uncharted, or maybe Naughty Dog's just going to do something else. You know it's going to be good. If Ghost of Tsushima is going to have a sequel, or if uh, Sucker Punch is going to do something else, you know it's going to be good because they've delivered recently. I just don't know with Xbox, and they're too quiet. If I don't know, then they need to get loud, right? And let me know. Make me feel comfortable with, hey, there's games coming out. We've got this plan and that plan. All I keep hearing about is that I'm going to be able to play their stupid-ass Game Pass 
on phones, tablets, PCs, smart toasters, coffee machines, Samsung's dishwashers and washing machines, uh, smart TVs, your mom's purse and makeup holder, and your dad's golf bag. Unless any of those devices are iOS devices, then no deal. <laughs> And the lack of competition is not good for us. It's not good for us. Even if you are just a PlayStation fan and you have no intentions on playing an Xbox game, believe me, the lack of competition is not good for us, all of us. Because if Xbox truly doesn't deliver in the next year, I don't know. What's the incentive for Sony to try even harder in 2022, right? Because they're, they're going to be leading the market all on their own. Well, you know, I'm pretty sure Nintendo will also be delivering with the next Zelda and everything else, but... I just don't think Nintendo and Sony are really in competition as much as Sony and Microsoft are. So I'm gonna sit here and say I hope the next big wow moment we get is from Microsoft and from Xbox because I think we've had two or three wow moments from PS5 already and we've had bad news about Halo Infinite. So Xbox needs the next big wow moment and, it, and I hope it has to do with games. I, I do not count it a wow moment if the next big thing is Microsoft's $100 cheaper with the Series X and the PS5. That's not what I'm talking about. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I'm talking about the next big wow moment in a new game reveal that we didn't see coming. I hope the next one's by Microsoft. And then I'm sure PlayStation has something up their sleeves that they haven't told us yet. Well, at least that's the rumor that there's some secret exclusive launch title that they haven't told us about yet. All right, guys, that's it for this week. I'll see you guys next week. Hey, by the way, please like, follow, subscribe, find me on Twitter. Let me know you guys are liking the content so I can keep doing this. You guys are the ones that keep me motivated to keep doing this, man. So let me know. Bye.